Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website, EspressoEnglish.net, where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. Present perfect versus past simple. What's the difference? When do we use each of these verb tenses? Today, I'm going to explain two simple rules so that it will become clear to you. And not only will I give you example sentences, but I'll also ask you to make your own. Are you ready? For more review and practice, make sure to download the free PDF guide to this lesson because it includes a quiz on when to use the present perfect or the simple past. The link is right under this video. Just click on it and enter your email address to get that free download. Rule number one, use the present perfect to talk about an action that started in the past and continues to the present and use the past simple to talk about an action that started and finished in the past. So we use the present perfect for unfinished time. For example, I've lived in Brazil for three years and I still live in Brazil now. And we use the past simple for finished time. I lived in Brazil for three years and I don't live in Brazil now. Try it right now. Answer the question, how long have you lived in your current home or city using the present perfect? In my case, I've lived in this house since 2017. Now talk about a place you lived in the past but you don't live there anymore using the simple past. In my case, I lived in the city of Salvador in Brazil for about seven years. It was from 2009 to 2016. When we're talking about actions that started in the past and continued to the present, we can actually use the present perfect simple or the present perfect continuous. So I can say, I've taught English for 13 years or I've been teaching English for 13 years. They're both correct and they have the same meaning. How about you? How long have you been studying English? Pause this video and leave a comment answering the question using the present perfect continuous. So that was rule number one, present perfect for unfinished time and past simple for finished time. And there are more example sentences inside that downloadable PDF lesson guide. Rule number two is we use the present perfect to talk about unspecified time in the past and the past simple to talk about specific times in the past. Compare these sentences. I've seen that movie. I've seen it sometime in the past, but I don't say when, so I use the present perfect. I saw that movie last week. Now I say specifically when I saw it, so I use the past simple. And when we're talking about single events at an unspecified time in the past, then we only use present perfect simple, not the present perfect continuous form. Another example, she has changed jobs several times during her career. Those are single events, but I don't say when, it's unspecified. She changed jobs in 2006, 2012, and 2021. Now I'm saying the specific times when she changed jobs, so I use the simple past. Now it's your turn. First, use the present perfect to talk about something you've done sometime in your life, but don't say when. In my case, I've taken figure skating lessons. Now use the simple past to say specifically when you did it. In my case, I took figure skating lessons when I was in high school, like 20 years ago. Again, there are a lot more example sentences inside the lesson PDF as well as a quiz, so make sure you download that. To review our two rules, present perfect for unfinished time and unspecified time in the past, and past simple for finished time and specific time in the past. I hope I've made it crystal clear when to use present perfect versus simple past, and thanks for putting it into practice by making your own example sentences. That's the type of thing I do throughout the lessons in my advanced English grammar course. I'm always helping you put it into practice and use the grammar yourself. 
That's what will really help it stick in your mind and become a natural part of your English. You can join my advanced English grammar course at my website, EspressoEnglish.net. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net, where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.